How we doing? Hope you're all doing well. Uh, today I am off to one of my favourite places in the whole of Scotland, is Glencoe. It's the first time I've been to Glencoe this year, uh, so I'm really looking forward to it. At the moment it's about 25 past 4, uh, I left the house about just before 4 o'clock. I'm absolutely knackered, I've literally had about two and a half, three hours sleep. So I'm just stopping and grabbing a quick coffee and then I'm going to get headed up the road. Going to go to a couple of new locations that I've not been to before and I'll be honest, it's not quite autumn yet so I'm just kind of going for a scout around and maybe get some half decent shots along the way, you never know. Um, but I'm just going to kind of spend the day pottering about and hopefully take a wee pop up to the Lost Valley as well, uh, if I've got time. So I'm going to stop yabbing, get my coffee drink and get headed up this road. Okay, so I am standing waiting on the sun coming up so I can get my first shot. I'm not going to lie, although the reflections are great, I look as if I've run out of a bit of luck uh, in the east for where the sun's coming up. Uh, there looks to be quite a bit of cloud, but still got about 25 minutes to go. So I'm just going to stand here and um, pray that there's a gap in the clouds, uh, just so that it lights up this mountain behind me. If it doesn't, then realistically this is a wreck. I'll come back again. Uh, with similar conditions and realistically the, the sky behind me as you might be able to see is actually quite moody so it could make for quite a moody shot anyway so stand about wait the sun coming up for about 25 minutes and i'll eat this shitty meal deal sandwich that i got out of the SO garage in the meantime so fingers crossed well there's definitely color in the sky the only problem is it's in a complete wrong direction for where i'm shooting and that's just absolutely typical meanwhile I'm standing here in the piss and rain. <laughs> right, so good things come to those who wait. Starting to get a wee bit of light on it. The rains went off as well. Um, so normally around about sunset, uh, sunrise, you would go to Booklet of Moor because it's the most obvious place. It's a stunning, stunning mountain. Uh, so today I've opted for its younger sister, uh, Buchel Et of Beg, and the wee lock in the mat is called Lock in a Folly, a Fola. So I'm going to stand here, the sun I reckon is going to appear just over the top of some thick cloud very shortly, and I should get some nice golden light, you can start to see it just appear there. Uh, the sky is looking absolutely brilliant, really really moody, and as you can see the, the sun's hitting my face a wee bit as well. So another couple of minutes and hopefully we'll have something decent. That's me back at the car. Not gonna lie, I'm absolutely freezing, a bit wet as well. That shower caught me completely off guard because it was not the forecast at all. Um, eventually, I must have stood there, I think, just over an hour. And between the wind, the rain, the cold, eventually we got what we were looking for. And I've got to say, looking at the back of the camera, I'm really, really happy with the shot. So, over the moon. So, I'm gonna head further down the glen 
just while I've still got this kind of moody atmosphere, I'm going to try and get these uh, shots taken because this, the atmosphere just now is really, really good. So I'm going to head further down the glen and then I'm going to go to a nearby tree that I've taken a shot before, but obviously not in these conditions. And then I'm going to move on and kind of look for some waterfalls down at Three Waters and see how we got on there. So onwards and we'll see what we get now. So I've climbed down that gorge just off the road, um, it's pretty slippy, pretty steep, so if you're ever coming down just be careful. Um, so basically what I'm using is I'm using the river to lead into the three sisters behind me which are nicely lit with the light. I'll be honest there's not enough water in the river for this to look the way I'd hoped it would look. Uh, but I'm going to give it a go because I'll come back again another time just to, to try and get it the way I'm looking for. So I'm going to put it about here for a wee while, just waiting the light hitting the mountains right and hopefully you'll see a shot at the end of it. So that's me back at the car and probably spent about an hour and a bit um, down at the S-Bends on the river there. Um, it was really nice, the light was lovely, it was just, I can't believe how little water there is just now. And we have had a bit of rain over the last few days and uh, I've never seen the rivers or even the lockings so low with water just now. So um, that's another one to go back for once we've had quite a bit of rain and uh, the river's really rushing through those, uh, through those gorges. So it's about 20 to 11, I'm pretty tired, I've only had a couple hours of sleep and I've been on the go since about half past three this morning. So I'm going to have a wee bite to eat, um, go for half an hour's kip and then I think I'm going to head over to Glencoe Lochan and see if there's any reflections, um, see if we can get a shot there. If not, I've got one more place I want to stop on the way down the road. Um, so, But first I'm going to have a sandwich and go for a wee, a wee hour's kip. As I was driving down the glen, all of a sudden, the sky lit up and the sun started beaming right down the glen, slammed on the brakes at the side of the road and managed to get a shot. Here it is. Right, so I managed to grab myself about an hour's sleep, so I actually do feel pretty refreshed. So I'm walking up to the Glencoe Lochan. It is a bit cloudy now, um, sky's a bit white, but still not a lot of wind uh, kind of lowered down. So hopefully we might get some reflections and again we'll just hang around and just see if we can get any light. So I'm going to take a wander up there and see if there's anything we can get.
So I'll put Glencoe locking, and as you can see, I've got the Papa Glencoe behind me, and got this nice wee jetty leading into it. I was getting some nice camera reflections a minute ago, but there just seems to be a few ripples just for the breeze, so I'm just kind of waiting on that to settle down. And then hopefully the sun will come out and sort of light these trees here. The sky's pretty boring, so I really need a bit of light just to kind of make a bit of interest in the, in the picture. So I'm going to stand here for 20 minutes or so and just hope uh, they get a wee gap in the clouds and get a wee bit of light on that and hopefully it turns out alright. Right, so back at the car, uh, shot wasn't great, a wee bit of light on the trees, but the sky was pretty boring, it's a bit late in the day now as well. So I've been on the go since really early this morning, I'm pretty hungry, so I'm going to head to the Clacky again for some lunch, and then I'm going to start making my way down the road, but on the way down the road I'm going to make one last stop, see if I can get one last decent image. Uh, I'm dying to get out of these boots as well, I've had them on all day, so I'm going to slip myself into my pair of Crocs. Yes, Crocs. Get a pair, you'll, you'll not regret it. Um, so I'm going to head down, get some lunch, and then make one last stop and hopefully we'll get another decent image. Haggis neeps and tatties. Superb. Oh. Right, so I've been fed, they've been watered, really nice. Um, the sun's back out as well, and there seems the light seems to be kind of scattered all around the mountains. So I'm going to head up towards the Anarchy Ridge car park, and I'm going to try and get a shot down the glen. Now I've tried this um, from the ridge, obviously before, but I'm not going up there today, obviously. So what I'm going to do is stick the drone up pretty high, and see if I can capture the glen with some of that scattered light on it as well, and hopefully get a really nice shot of it. And I'll do some footage while I'm there. So I'll head up there just now, get that done, and then make the journey back down the road. That went really well. Um, <laughs> the light was absolutely brilliant in the valley and, and the glen, so really chuffed with that. Um, I, I'll be honest, I'm absolutely knackered now, so I'm going to make the long journey back home. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, today was more really about just kind of trying to find a few other places and just uh, scouting some stuff out for kind of late autumn, early winter, and obviously when we've got a bit more rain in the rivers and stuff, everything should look a bit more impressive. But I hope you enjoyed it. If you did enjoy it, then please give it a like, and if you really enjoyed it, then please remember to subscribe as well. So thanks very much, take care, and I'll see you all later.